So the first real slide of the tour is slide one, uh, which is called impacts. By the way, uh, you can have these numbers displayed above the slides by clicking show slide numbers under the guided tours tab. Uh, I find that very useful. Um, the things that make this slide special are that, that there's an animated object of a asteroid that also has an animated um, uh, text object that sits in front of it, which is the title uh, sequence. So for the uh, for both these these objects, the three objects that were brought in as OBJ files, I have them reference to uh, a coordinate system, a frame of reference called Asteroid that I created. And if you look at the properties, it has essentially a mean radius of a thousand meters, um, a position of zero degrees latitude and longitude with respect to the sun, because it's under the sun frame of reference, at a distance of um, 1.5 times 10 to the uh, like 12th um, meters. Um, and so that puts it at a certain location. Um, ultimately, uh, I would have liked to have actually put this particular asteroid, and I will do that uh, once I get a better model and do some extra work on it, um, in its real orbit. It's a near-Earth orbit uh, asteroid called, um, called Eros 433, and its orbit's well known. Uh, so that would be the preferred way to do it. But for, for now, uh, if you were to fly up to it in space, you wouldn't see any things around it. So whether it's by itself or in its specific location is not so critical for the storytelling. Um, under that frame of reference, there are two objects. One is 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 the uh, asteroid model itself, um, and this is now it's here. It's in the uh, dark side because of the lighting, so you can't see it very well. Um, but it has scaling. Um, uh, depending upon how you create the mod 3D model files, which can be in OBJ or 3DS file formats. Uh, you may have to turn on things like two-sided textures, um, uh, a couple other uh, of these parameters which you can play with. Um, the the other object I have is a what's called a card or a billboard, which is a, 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 a two-dimensional polygon with a, a, a an image that has text on it, or could be an image, but in this case it has has the, the um, title, and uh, that's placed in 3D space and can be manipulated separately from the from the um, asteroid itself. So. Um, then I will look at the timeline editor, and this shows a um, our, our trusty timeline. Uh, the things that are on the timeline are the camera, which takes my view; it moves the camera around. Um, fade to black, which is a parameter under the layer manager under dome, um, and so uh, fade to black if it's checked will fade the entire scene down. It's how you can um, uh, take uh, take the entire display or dome or virtual reality experience down to black uh, smoothly. And I use that to, to bring on, to, to introduce slides. Uh, it's a nice, uh, gradual, um, elegant way to do that as well as, as to shut them, you know, at the end. At the end. Um, and then the asteroid and title card are the two things that um, uh, also have uh, um, are also on the timeline of the title card because of their relative locations to each other. So uh, the camera, all of this motion here is, is as it moves, um, this keyframe, and then all the way to this keyframe. So I have, I have only a few keyframes of camera motion, and then the interpolation between it is actually quite good and, and gives a pretty cinematic swoopy effect. Um, the other, uh, the other things that I'm doing are I'm fading in the title card so the asteroid is visible the entire time, but the title card only turns on here as you see as, as uh, essentially I'm not doing any more rotations with the object and I'm just, um, I'm just uh, turning on the card. So it's doing two things. One is it's if you open up the title card, what parameters I'm changing? I'm actually changing the opacity. Um, I can right click. I can click on this key and find out that it's opacity one here. If I click on this key, it's opacity zero. So it, it changes. It fades in from opacity zero to opacity one to be become opaque. And the other the other keys that are actually changed are um, these keys are 
zoom scales for the card, and so um, I start them at 45% of Mac of their normal, and then um, uh, through the entire at the end they're up to 0.6 uh, 60 percent. So if you look at the uh, at the way this plays, you can you can go back to the beginning by clicking the um, left index and then push play. Um, you can see how the 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 we're getting closer to the to the to the, both the object with the frame of reference and the object and the text are getting closer to us, but the text is actually expanding faster, so it gives you an interesting parallax effect. Um, so that's how I made that um, that title sequence, and again we we fade out at the end of that.